Hello there, this is Oliver Weingarten and I would like to show you today how this chain carrier here can be rigged in XSI and in Houdini using more or less similar tools. I hope you like it and will find it useful. So let's jump over to XSI. Um, here you can see what my setup looks like. I came across this issue that I had to model and animate a couple of these chain carriers for a couple of machines I'm, I'm still working on. So I had to find an efficient way to simulate something like um, a rigid behavior of all these chain parts. And so I came up with the idea to use a bent deformer to get this kind of deformation or movement of my parts. So the hard piece of this whole setup is this grid here that gets deformed by a bent deformer. Yes, and here you can see the, the polygon grid which is deformed by um, a bent operator as you can see here. Well, these are available parameters, but unfortunately XSI does not have any visual feedback of those. But, okay, so this is the radius of our bend and this is more or less, uh, well, of course, one, one part that determines how the bend looks like. And here we have um, an offset and I put a little animation on the offset so that you get this kind of motion here, all right? Okay, so the next step was to use a particle system and add a particle to each polygon uh, center, which we get here and we add a point at each center. We align each particle to the uh, polygon surface of that grid. It's a full alignment here. And the next step would be to instant instantiate our polygon object on each particle. And if I unhide these guys, you can see what our chain looks like. So, and because we, we aligned everything proper, properly, we have no problem with uh, the alignment of, of, each, of each particle to each other. Yeah, and the, the last step would be, well, to um, set the correct size of each particle to match um, each of those chain parts here accordingly. Okay, this is the setup in XSI and now let's jump over to Houdini and take a look at the setup over there. Okay, this is how our setup looks like in Houdini and yeah as you might see it looks pretty much pretty much the same and it also is based on the same technique. So if we jump over here in our uh, node view we jump into our geometry of our chain carrier. So the first step uh, let's switch over to a hidden line or to a wireframe maybe. It's better to see the polygon grid a little bit better. So this is our polygon grid. The next step would be to add a bent deformer like so. And this guy has a couple of more parameters and values to tweak like the soft image deformer and it has some visual feedback where we can yeah play around with certain angles and certain offsets and things like that. Um, I just put a little bit of animation on uh, this particular and here it is the x-axis. Here is an animation on the x-axis on the capture origin like it's called here in Houdini and this gives us the uh, the bending for 
the grid. The next step would be to add um, a normal to each to each polygon. And now we have to add a point at each center of each polygon. And I found two ways to do this. I think there are a couple of more, couple of more ways to do this, but um, this short piece of code, that's what I found on, on the net, and which basically adds a point at each uh, polygon and afterwards removes the, the primitive or the, the polygon gets removed and we end up with a couple of points or one point at the center of each polygon. So if we scrap, scrap our animation we see yeah of course everything gets deformed like it should. Another way how I found out to well add points to or convert a polygon to a point more or less uh, is this convert node and if you set this up to let's switch over to the smooth shader again or well the flat shader you you see we have circles at each polygon center and with what this node here actually does it just stores it also stores a point position. If we press uh, the middle mouse button, you see we have two attributes, which are one is still in, inherited from, from above, from the bent deformer, and we have the most necessary one, which is the, the P attribute. So the point position is named like that. Afterwards, we add a point at each of these um, positions. And here we have it again a point at each center of our polygons. So this is just a switch node that you can see it doesn't matter which of these two operators or nodes I use to achieve uh, this adding of points at each, at, at each uh, center. Okay the next step is a little bit more complicated and this is how to transfer our normal we have here on our um, polygon grid as you can see the violet vectors here are our point normals to transfer them over to uh, the points in a correct manner so that we have a more or less rigid bending of each normal we definitely use, the, use this and have to use it later on for the correct alignment of our particles or our instances along this uh, grid. Okay, and this works with um, an attribute WAP, which is well pretty similar to something we are used in XSI. And this looks a little bit like an ice tree and it basically is some kind of it. But okay, so yeah, let's jump up again. So we have two inputs here. This is the first input where our points come in. And here is our second input where our point normals or our polygon normals come from. Okay, um, something like get the closest location in XSI is more or less the XYZ dist here, this node. And we need basically two two inputs, which is in the one hand side the point position of our points we want to transfer the attribute to and the input to, well, the, the data source where our normals will come from. Another node we need is a prim UV node and this prim UV node gives us a certain, looks up a certain data on our uh, primitive in this case. We have to feed also our second input over here in the file port and specify which attribute we want to, to grab from each of our primitives. We also have to switch over here to a vector attribute if not already if not already done. Okay, 
And the next step would be just to pipe this value of our normal over to the point normal. And yes, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. If we switch on the uh, normal visualizer, we can see these blue, blue uh, vectors here. They represent our vectors. Okay, now that we have our normal, we need to add an up vector to our particles to align them properly. So for this one, we use this point, point node here. We pipe in our, our points and we will add an up vector which points into the z direction here. Okay, the next step would be to use a copy, copy operator, copy to point sop, and we copy our geometry onto each point which comes in here. This is the geometry untransformed. We add a small transform node to get it in the correct size and we copy each of our polygon objects to the points. So, and here you have it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's also, well, not that complicated setup, I guess. It's uh, it's pretty fast also, like in, in Softimage. And there's one button you should press if you are happy with your setup and press the pack and instance uh, check here because it makes everything much much faster so yeah that's it hope you like it and hopefully see you soon bye bye